It's time for the pregame show for our very first football game of the year for the Missouri Baptist University Spartans. Head coach Jason Burianax here. I'm Harry Schrader. We're glad to be with you. And uh, but you got to be excited just to have the regular season finally here, opening night and all that at home. How excited are you about season two? Oh, we're really excited. It's nice to be back in game week. It feels like it's been a long time since we've been in a game situation. You know, we, we finished early November last year, and uh, which is pretty early for college football to get over. So it's been a lengthy delay, but it's nice to be sitting next to you again. <laughs> hey, uh, the practice facility is up. You've got been, have been able to use your own place. How big a difference has that made for your team? It's been night and day. It's you can, Words can't even describe the difference it's made in, in just the mentality of the guys, mentality of our staff as well, just uh, being able to walk out uh, within a short distance and have a practice field that we're not fighting for time on, um, that we're able to go out there and do things as we, as we need to. I, I mentioned to Dr. Lacey the other day, one of the biggest changes that we've seen is when it's rain because we're not worried about what are we going to do. We can't get on the field if it's 10 o'clock in the morning because somebody else is going to be using the field. So we go in the locker room, we watch some film within the building, get, uh, get all that going, and then when the rain quits, we go out and practice. So it's, it's been really nice. You gave me the tour the other day, and it's spectacular. The practice facility is unbelievable. will be a great home field in the future as well. Uh, but not only that, you're not practicing at 6 in the morning. Oh, that makes a huge difference. The mentality of the guys is, is really a lot different, noticeably different when you're not up at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock to get treatment, then out there at, at 6 a.m. for practice. So uh, we, we have meetings every day at uh, 2.30. Uh, we, we practice at 3.30, and, and we're out of there by 5.30, 6 o'clock. So it's a really uh, good schedule for the guys. We, they have all, all their classes in the morning but they're able to sleep in, get a lot of rest, and be ready to go. Teams grow, they change, they morph. Uh, when I look at your roster and I look at your depth chart, a lot of the guys that we said their names very often last year um, aren't starters this year. Yeah. That tells me you're a deeper and even a more talented team. Yeah, I mean, we, we hope so. We like to think that. I don't know how much depth is really there quite yet. You know, some of that is due to guys, uh, you know, leaving in the offseason. You know, we lost a lot of, a uh, fair amount of starters. You know, J.P. Lowry was an, a guy that opted to uh, go back and be closer to home in Texas. And we lost some of those guys that are names that I think Spartan football fans got used to hearing quite a bit last year, and they're not with us anymore. So the depth is there, um, but it's not maybe as where we need it to be. I think we're still a couple years off of really having that true depth that we desire, but I think we're a better football team for sure. The Bethel Wildcats are in town for the opening game. Uh, tell us a little bit about them. Five and six a year ago, but tell us about the Wildcats. Well, I think they're an up and coming program, up and coming team. Um, they're, they're doing a great job coaching these guys. They were five and six last year, but they play some good competition as well. They're extremely big on the offensive line, and that's going to be where we are going to have to you know, really be diligent and, and our guys are going to have to work hard against those guys. Their uh, left tackle is like 6'6", 320 pounds. Their right tackle is like 6'4", uh, 295. So they're, they're really big along that offensive line. We've got to hope that our speed is able is something that gives them problems. I was going to say, you're not that big at the defensive end position, but you're pretty talented there. We, we are very talented. We've got Malik Ross, who's coming back, and uh, Nathan Worm, who's coming back. And those guys are uh, extremely talented. Malik I think had six and a half sacks or something like that last year. A very strong ed edge rusher. Both those guys give a lot of problems to, to offensive linemen because of their speed. They're not the biggest guy, but they're, but they're both really strong. And I think we're pretty good inside now uh, this year. We've got, we are a lot better inside. Quarterback position is uh, obviously very important. You're making a bit of a change. Uh, Jordan yeah. Norwine and, and DeMarco Billups, they, they went back and forth a little bit last year, but Jordan will start tonight's game. Yeah, Jordan will be the starter. He's had a really good uh, camp. We made that a point of emphasis in the recruiting process. Uh, coming out of the season, we weren't sure what we had. Uh, we wanted to put some pressure on all three of those guys, Jordan, um, DeMarco, and Billy Ritchie, who's a Jerseyville product. And we went through spring ball. They did good things, but we needed to see what we had coming in. And so we brought in a like six other quarterbacks and threw it up for competition. And Jordan has had a really good fall camp. 
Um, DeMarco's been right on his heels, but I think in scrimmage situations, Jordan has been the guy who wanted out. Now, when you think back to last year, Jordan had the start against Oklahoma Baptist and got hurt in the second quarter and then allowed DeMarco to really finish the season as our starter. So there was competition even last, last year at that position, and Jordan uh, has done well so far, so we'll see what he can do on Saturday night. Uh, final question, what, what do you expect maybe to be different about this season, about your team with some maturity, maybe some increased depth. What do you expect to see different as the program is growing and maturing? I think the biggest difference is that our confidence is going to show on the field. The guys are a lot more confident in, in what they're supposed to do when they're out there, uh, especially our starters. Of course, we have a lot of new guys that are kind of back in the situation that we were in a year ago where they were kind of clueless and not really knowing what's going on right now. But that's okay. We've got a group of uh, starters that on both sides of the ball that are playing with a lot of confidence and, and they're flying around. They know what to do. So I think that's going to be the biggest difference. And you're going to see you're going to see us get lined up right where we didn't always do that last year. Best of luck. We're excited about season yeah, two. Absolutely. Thank you. That's head coach Jason Burianek. I'm Harry Schrader. We'll be back in just a minute with the kickoff of the very first game of the season right here on the Spartan Digital Network.